Let's look at the forecast. We're at 92 right now. We'll be up around 100 this afternoon, so a hot one. 30% chance of some storms, mainly this evening. If you have plans this evening, keep an eye on the radar. Mostly will be uh, as we get into tonight. And then a 40% chance tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. Exciting stuff. Temperatures fall back down into the mid-90s for highs, which is great. Uh, heat does return by early next week, though. Guys. This is a forecast we're celebrating. Oh, very nice. I've decided that if Mike ever wanted to add another job. Do keep. Absolutely. He's pretty good. You do good at that. As a live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Speaking of zoos, oh. look at that. I mean, look at that face. Oh, oh my gosh, that thing is adorable. <laughs> what a way to have a start of Wednesday or midday Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Drusky. All right, we have two districts that started today. NEISD or three? Three. Okay, help me out, Mike. Uh, Harlandale, yep. uh, NEISD, yep. and Bernie. Started oh, today. Yeah. Started today. I should know that, right? Yeah, I'm we're gonna, over there. We're All right. Chat with the Cowboys down there in McCollum in a second. But yes, our question today: What was your favorite subject in high school, or what is if you're still in school? Uh, go first. I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, favorite subject? So I'm gonna have to say like public speaking, theater. Go figure, because of the the teacher. Yes. Uh, he he taught up many many classes. He was the director of the the play mm -hmm. uh, senior year. So that yeah. that's what makes it great. And then a business law class because the teacher was so great. So. See, there you go. Teachers make all Hope the, the difference. Hope the other teachers aren't watching. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> what about you? Uh, well, English was always a favorite, but there's so many, right? Yeah. I, I took a criminal justice class that was interesting too. The teacher. Really? Yeah, I know. Yes, oh. I learned a lot there. So let us know your favorites. Maybe it was a class, right? And share photos. We still want to see photos, right? Yep. All month. All month long. All right. You know something what's really great on weekends is brunch. And we got two words to get you started. Hakuna Mimosa. <laughs> that means brunch. And this local restaurant calls itself the premier brunch destination in town. And when you check out oh, some of these pictures, uh, yeah. you will know why. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm oh, I mean, yeah. really? All right. Nice, executive nice. chef and owner of Full Belly Cafe and Bar, James Moore, is here. And, Good morning. Uh, and it's not just Her Full Belly, it's Happy now. Belly, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll be happy. You'll be happy on the way out for sure. Do I need no, more butter underneath here to toast uh, the other side? I think that's looking pretty is good. It, I it? mean, it's not going to hurt my feelings if you threw a little yeah. more butter under there. Can't go wrong with more butter. Sure. <laughs> what are we making here? What we got? So today we've got a little patty melt action going on. Um, we we make our sourdough that Mike is toasting up right here in house, and he's got a little clarified butter going on that mm. we're toasting. We've got an eight ounce patty that we've seasoned with salt, pepper, and toasted caraway, toasted okay. ground caraway, which the caraway seeds in rye bread are what give it the distinct rye flavor. And so therefore, because a lot of times I'll bake a patty melt at home and it's like, oh, I don't know, rye bread, you know, it's good, but it's just not great. So you can keep that just ground up like yep. that in your yep. pantry with all the you other spices, right? You can mimic the flavor there. Okay. Yeah. So feel free to throw some onions on there too, Mike. We'll Perfect. get the caramelized onions going here. Look how beautiful those caramel caramelized and onions delicious. are. Delicious. One, you also one brought of my favorite ingredients. Yeah. Some other items over there from the Yes, I those did. look amazing. So we, we definitely have a baking component in the in the concept here. And what I've got here is I'll start from the front. Okay, uh, okay. So the giant is a, a brown <laughs> butter cinnamon roll. This thing mm. is gonna blow you away. I, I will Put it to the test of anybody. It's the best I've ever had. Um, I will gladly take a bite. There's <laughs> a, a, a chocolate covered belly puff over there, which is like a sugared puff pastry dough, um, a carrot cake, uh, a biscuit in the back that we do a biscuits and gravy with, and then what we have in the back corner by Mike is called a dino egg, which is our dough yeah. that's filled with cheese and a soft boiled egg that we wrap and cover with more cheese and bake it off. So it's kind of like a little breakfasty action oh, going on. You know okay. something, Jen? Oh, there you go. Now this isn't warm, so I, okay. I, I don't want to. I don't want to misrepresent okay. at all because we all we right. serve it warm and ooey gooey. <laughs> but Cut it's, that it's okay. intense. Right. It, it'll rock your world for sure. All right. And There's then, a lot of butter going on in there, as well as the brown butter icing that's happening too. Okay. See how that that okay. tastes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how am I doing so on this? So it's looking deli It's mm. looking great over there. Mm. Um, I would like to say that pretty much when those onions, by the time those onions are done here, you could throw them right on top of the patty melt. Okay. Um, and that's going to help melt the cheese on the top as well. 
Um, and then it's almost like we can build it uh, right on the griddle here, right? So you can even let, oh, hold on just a second, oh. real quick. I'm gonna. I want. I don't want to forget a oh. little Russian dressing on it. I saw that. We, we like to throw a little homemade Russian dressing mm -hmm. on it. Um, just you know, more. I like it saucy. Okay. Um, as well as buttery. Would you say uh, this so is one of the customer favorites, or what, this what, is what probably are, the most popular uh, sandwich that we have? Yep. Both and, sides. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Why not? Let's, yeah. let's, let's bring it. Sure. Bring the goods here. And to wash it down. When and you so have the we we have a very popular uh, craft cocktail program in here. And what the, one of the most popular drinks we do is called the Bee's Knees, which is gin, lemon, and honey. Uh, and that's what I've got here today uh, to wash down a patty melt. So and that's we're one open. of those classic cocktails, too, yeah. isn't it? It, it Bee's is. Knees. It is. And it's easily one of the most popular, too, because they're so <laughs> clean and refreshing. Oh, look so, at especially that. when it's 100 and whatever degrees outside yep. every day of the week. Oh, angle yeah. angle or square? How do you yeah. cut them? Um, so I like to go right in half. Okay. Um, but this is your sandwich right now, so. It's a hot oh, and we still sandwich have our, um, ice Ouch. lemon ice box. Sure, we can do lemon ice box pie real go quick. So this is a drink. homemade lemon ice box pie, super fluffy with a gra homemade graham cracker crust. Today we've got a little strawberry coolie here. Um, amazing work, and then we'll garnish with fresh lemon zest and a little whipped chantilly cream as well. What do I want to taste? I'm going to try out. trying to make it look pretty the way going. you do. This baby awesome. is hot, though. So, and where, where are you located? And also, so, you got a new place coming right, up, too. Right now, our first location is uh, up in Stone Oak, um, right in uh, Trader Joe's Shopping Center in between Stone Oak Parkway and Blanco. And yes, uh, we're very excited that later at the end of the year, we'll be doing a second location in Almost Park as well. Um, That's exciting, right? Very oh exciting. My yep. Okay. Yep. So this is exactly how I like it. Like if it's not dripping down your hand while you're eating it and yep. onto the plate, yep. then um, you know we need to try harder. But yeah, mm. but very James, very fun popular sandwich. Thank you Patty so milk. much. My People, pleasure. Uh, thank you. Reservations in encouraged, right? Uh, but not needed, correct? Not required, <laughs> but definitely on the weekends it seems like it fills up quickly. And so there's a link on the <laughs> website to connect to Open Table if you want to make a resi. It always mm. helps. I'm a happy right. camper right now. Again, Full Belly located at 427 North Loop 1604 West. And for more information, head over to SALive.com. You can click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan that QR code on your screen. You got a little right here. Oh, do I feel him? Okay. <laughs> hey, Thank like you. you said, if it's not all over your face and all over your hands, it's not a good sandwich. That's a great sandwich. Because I all was right. wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. All right, it's the first day of school for a lot of kiddos in San Antonio. Yep, Hollandale ISD is, ISD is one of those that's back in class today. And uh, we had a chance to swing by the other day, chatted with football players, McCollum High School. Boy, right in the middle of cowboy country. And let's see what they're excited about this year. here in cowboy country, right guys? Yeah! Yeah! Rattlesnake Roundup! Wow, that's really loud. And we are here at McCollum High School and Coach Carl Clan. Hey, how's the team gonna be this year, sir? It'll be great. They're working hard, looking forward to it, excited about a new season. It's a new season, new opportunity, and a lot of excitement. All right, what was the record last year? Last year we were three and seven. Okay. So. What are you predicting for this year? Uh, we want to get the playoffs. That's our goal all the time. Yeah. Winning winner record. Yeah! Just championships, always the same. That, that's always the same? Okay. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most other than the football season this year for the, the upcoming school year? We're just looking playing football. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the first game and just get going on that. Yeah. That's the most exciting part. So. How, about, how about the rest of the year, though? Well, the rest of the year, we constantly work for it. We're constantly looking toward it. But, uh, you, know, we, you know, we enjoy everything. we got a lot of guys that are multi-sport guys. They play a lot of things. So, you know, we're going to have a great football season and have a great basketball and have great baseball, soccer. We go into all of it. So, 22-23 is just going to be a great year, right? That's what we're looking forward to. Okay. All right. i got to talk to you. Okay. You, you want to take your helmet off so all the girls can see you, right? So. Oh, 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 I got it. What do you do? What are you looking? What are you looking forward to the most this year? Oh, uh, winning and trying to make the playoffs. Okay, 
After that, how about the school year? Because you're a senior this year, right? Last year. Kind of uh, sad, a little, little bittersweet? A little bit, but I'll, one last ride. Yeah? yeah. Okay, another another senior? No, no who, who's another senior here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, Jay. What position do you play? I'm D-tackle. Ah, ooh, he's one of the tough ones. Yeah, your, <laughs> yeah, so what are you looking forward to this year? I mean, I'm balling out with the boys. Yeah? Yeah. 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 All right, what is the biggest game? I know it's the, the next one you play, but biggest game of the year? Taking on Alamo Heights? Yes, sir. Yeah. Is it? Because they were pretty tough last year. Yeah. Yes, and then of course you got your crosstown rivals too, right? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. So, so what do you score first game? When is that gonna be? When we score? No, no, no. I mean when which your first game? Oh, first game, South Sand. Okay. You gonna win? Yes, sir. What's the score gonna be? Can't describe that, but I just know we're gonna win. You're gonna win? We're gonna go out there and play our hearts. We do that last year. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, other than football, what are you looking forward to most? In the upcoming school year, track, track, track season. Track season is always fun. Okay. Just throwing with the boys. Yeah. You know, one last ride with them. Do y'all have a favorite teacher? Coach Clone. Uh, Co oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do y'all have a favorite teacher who won't give you burpees if you don't say his oh, name? No. <laughs> Alright, coach says you guys are pretty good at singing the fight song. And don't forget, this is gonna be on TV. Okay, oh. one, two, three, go! Hey, hey, hey. hey look it's over! Give us a cheer! We're from a call and we're down here! We're always ready to roll the top! We never want to agree to go, we never want to stop! So on to our victory, on to our go! Now to the age of the story will be so Country McCollum High School. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah! What a great bunch. That was so <laughs> much impressed. fun being out there You're with right. those guys. They knew that song. They, they, they were fantastic. Yes. But boy, they were out there, and I think they enjoyed a little bit of a break because even at what 10 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> it was really darn yeah. hot out yeah, there. But they hard. just a just a fun bunch of guys. Good luck to them. Have a Football great season. season this year. Yes. yes. And for more information on Harlandale ISD, head over to salive.com. Click the as seen on SA Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. All right, it is National S'mores Day, and we are making an ooey gooey twist on French toast. And if you like that, there's s'more where that came from. <laughs> but first, we're living on the hedge. Get it? <laughs> you can take your party or even the classroom to the next level with some cute critters. We'll tell you how. That's next on SA Live. You don't have to hide your okay, face. Okay, welcome back to SA Live. If this cutie doesn't spike your interest in animals, <laughs> nothing quill. Get it? <laughs> Love the puns. And our good friend Anita Lenahan, owner of Happy Tales Entertainment, is here. So good to see you. And once again, Really cute and interesting there animals. Who's this little guy? This is Rebel, and she is an African pygmy hedgehog. She's the smallest of about 17 different species of hedgehog, most of which are found in Africa and Europe. These guys are huge in the pet industry, so they do make really good pets. So, what do you keep them in like a, a fish or something like that? Is that uh, the no, thing? you want to have something that air can flow through because a fish tank, it's going to get too warm in there. You got to have a heat lamp on them pretty much in the winter time all day long. Uh, a cage, just a cage, like a okay. big hamster cage works perfectly. Okay. Um, they are nocturnal, so you got to realize that they're going to want to play more at night than they are during the day, although. She she doesn't mind coming out during the day. She's, and she's doing this little movement. I thought she was sneezing, but you said she probably wants to go back to bed. Yeah, she just <laughs> wants to go back to bed because she is so nocturnal. So being uh, kind of an easy animal, if you wanted something maybe for, you know, say, let's say 10-year-old kids, they wanted something different than a dog or a cat, this would be a, a decent animal to, to get? Yes, as long as you spend a lot of time with them. They're not like a dog or a cat in the fact that, you know, dogs will take attention from anybody. Cats are just kind of, yeah. it's on their terms. Um, but you have to spend a lot of time with them, just like anything else. If you don't spend a ton of time with your dog, it's not gonna play like you wanna play, you know what I mean? And that's so it gets adjusted to humans too, right? Yes, okay. yeah. Yeah, she's, right. she's real sweet um, most of the time. Yeah, she gets temperamental during the day because she just wants to sleep. But well, that's don't we okay. all when we're awake and when it's, when it's bedtime? Yeah, I don't yeah. blame you. Okay. Sorry, I woke you. All right, and now <laughs> next you have a kinkachu. A kinkajou, yeah, let me get him out here. Talk about nocturnal. Now this guy is hiding. 
I told him he had to be a TV star today. <laughs> um, come on, come on. Here he comes. Oh Boop. my god. There he is. So he almost looks like a weasel. <gasps> well, he's related to the raccoon. Oh, really? If, okay. he, if the kids saw the movie Vivo, okay, yeah. Vivo was a kinkajou. And all the kids think that Vivo is a monkey or a lemur, but he's not. He's related to the raccoon. These guys are found in Central and South America. He's a little camera I'm shy like today. So. <laughs> well, it's dark in there, so. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the fun facts, other than they like going in dark places? <laughs> so he's extremely nocturnal. He is the only raccoon family member with a prehensile tail. Okay. So he can hold on with just his tail. They live way high up in the trees in Central and South America. Okay. They are nectar, nap Nectar and fruit eaters are their main diet, but they are an omnivore, so they'll eat meat, bugs, and plants. Okay. And again, he's okay. very <laughs> So, all he wants to do is go to sleep. He does this to me They're every time. Both of them up right for their naps. Yes. yes. Well, yes. he finds a dark spot to hide in. Let's take a look yeah. at this. Come on Our over, Casey. Help me get this guy. Cassidy, I'm sorry. Help me get, <clears throat> let me get this guy out. And this is a gecko. Gizmo, right? Yeah, that's Gizmo. He is a, cr she is actually, she. she's a female. Come here. Um, she is a crested gecko, and they are found on an, naturally found on an island called New Cal Caledonia, which is off the coast of Australia. Um, he, he's nocturnal too, <laughs> or she, uh, but um, she's a little bit more forgiving than the kinky Jew as far as coming out during the day. Look at her. She's beautiful. Yeah. Now, the way they got their name, the crested gecko, it looks like she has hair. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. her eyebrow, like her eyelashes, yeah. all the way down. Oh, That's yeah. actually folds of skin. Okay. Mm. And she's super soft. Do they make good pets? They do. They mm -hmm. do. They're very low maintenance reptiles. If you handle them a lot, they're they're phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I have found that the females are a little bit calmer than the males because mm -hmm. we had a male and he was really jumpy. Mm -hmm. um, but they do make good pets. They're super super easy. And how long do, did you say they live? They can live up to twenty years. Okay. And last but not least, my oh. friend from our uh, tease earlier, the oh, Cotamundi. Yeah. Yep, let me get him out here. Just give me a second. And this is another guy who you said is related to raccoons, right? Yes. Now, he is also in one of the new movies that came out. Oh, oh, here we go. There he is. Make this is Indy. Hi, and Indy again is at Cotamundi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, we might want to put the gecko away while okay. the omnivore <laughs> Coda Mundi is out. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> now, let me go under the side here, get him to go forward. Um, these guys were in the movie Encanto. Okay. Everybody oh. thinks that the animals that stole the vision in Bruno's vision sequence, I only saw the movie once, so I yeah. may be quoting uh -huh. it wrong, they think they're rats. He, he was actually a Coda Mundi Hello. that stole the vision in I that didn't sequence. Know that. Okay. And you will come to parties, schools, mm -hmm. bring all the different animals with you, right? Yep. Okay. And yep. how many different ones do you have? We have 37 different animals that we take to birthday parties awesome. and schools and, and schools all kinds and of things. Nursing homes as yes. well. Yes, homes, all well, kinds yep, of things. Yep. Thank you uh, for you got your hands full. We got I the do. easy job today. So <laughs> if you want more information on Happy Tales Entertainment, and again, they can come to your oh. your party. <laughs> yeah, and it even does windows too. Uh, go to our website, salive.com, click on the Ad Scene on SA Live tab, or just scan the That's QR a first code right there for us. on the bottom of your screen right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Still ahead on SA Live. What better way to learn math and science than with dessert? I got a galactic donut adventure. How you can do the same with these fun, tasty, and educational kits. And time is running out to take advantage of solar incentives. What you need to know and the local company that can help you get started, it is straight ahead on SA Live. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, of course, very little rain and a whole bunch of sunshine this year makes a great year for solar energy and with incentives and rebates for solar expiring at the end of the year. Now is the time to perfect time to upgrade to a solar system. And here with everything you need to know is President Daniel Trevino and Vice President of Carl Marketing. Pardon me, Carl Stoking from Roofix. Good afternoon, gentlemen. All right, Carl, first you. of all, why is it so urgent to invest in solar right now? Well, there's a few reasons. One of the biggest is, as it stands right now, 
there is a federal income tax credit on all solar purchases for your home, and that is going down by 4% next year. Okay. So potentially if you waited, you're giving thousands of dollars to the IRS, which I don't know many people who want to do that if they don't yeah, have to. They don't have Good to. point. <laughs> the next thing would be utility companies have rebates for solar purchases, and there is a lot of talk that those are going to be going away next year. So if you do not get signed up this year, you're not going to take advantage of all the potential savings that you could have with these utility rebates. Finally, the last one would be interest rates. Okay. I mean, obviously, anyone who pays attention to the news, interest rates are jumping up like we've never seen. That affects solar loans. So don't wait. Okay, don't extremely wait. hot summer and soaring electric bills. How can yeah. solar help with rising energy costs? Well, it's hot, Mike. Everywhere we see, we're hot. We have record, probably record 2021 right now, 2022. So mm -hmm. I'd like to talk to you about uh, this graph here that showcases the history of uh, our utility rates over time. This is mm -hmm. a six year graph. Actually, the last six months, we've increased our utility rates by 25%. And homeowners are actually paying almost 50% right now in the San Antonio area, right now, right around 15%. Okay. So as an owner of a solar company, I thought, well, let me invest in solar myself. So I went ahead and did it about six, seven months ago. I put solar on my home. I like to ask Mike, what do you think my utility bills now? Okay, 40, 50 bucks maybe. All right, so yes, let's, that, which is great. I, I'd okay. love to have it right there. <laughs> I, so I, I paid $10.89 on my utility bill by investing in solar. It's a 98% reduction. Actually, this graph showcases where I was not solar and where uh -huh. I went solar. And when I finance that system, it's half the cost if I didn't go solar at all. And then the other thing too is, yes, people say, well, you're having to pay for the solar system, but it's yeah. not like you are renting no. the energy because you're investing in that I and rent. that goes to the resale of your house too, That's right? correct, yes, and I own the power. Okay, why is Roofix the best choice for solar installation? Well, here, Daniel, we'll pull that one away. Yeah, of course. This is how Roofix installs solar, okay? We are a roofing company. So we can do things that traditional solar installers cannot do. Mm -hmm. This is what you're probably used to seeing right there, right? The so graph the paper panels, the yeah, the lost the game of Tetris look. So yeah. we install our solar so it is symmetrical, all black. We install this beautiful critter guard around mm -hmm. the, I'm not a weatherman, so around the outside. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> what that does is prevent this right here. Okay. Anybody who lives in the hill country knows we got plenty of critters around here. And Solar panels are a great place for a critter to start a family, hide its nuts, do all that kind of stuff. And with us, that's never gonna be a problem. Okay, you also have a special going on right now, right? We absolutely do, yes. So with fuel costs rising, we're giving a $300 prepaid fuel card for anyone who signs with solar. In addition, we're also doing a free portable generator with everyone who signs up with solar. Okay. First 10 callers with SA Live. Once again, first 10 people to call are gonna get a free portable generator with solar installation and a $300 prepaid gas card. Just call 210 Roof Fix. that's 210-349-7663. And for more information on on Roofix, visit the website roofixsa.com. Carl, Daniel, thank you very much. Likewise, Mike. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. All right, next on SA Live, let's get toasted. French toasted, that is. We've got a recipe for s'mores stuffed French toast. A local chef can create this and more for you. S'more SA Live, just ahead. Don't go anywhere. Plus, summer, of course, is not over yet, and you can win a vacation if you are a KSAT Insider. Sign up now to spin the KSAT Insider prize wheel, and you could win a $2,500 voucher toward a cruise with Alamo Travel Group, along with a $200 Circle K gas card, but you have to be a KSAT Insider, so just go to KSAT.com slash insider to get started. The next spin is happening soon, and you want to be that winner. More SA Live is on the way. Welcome back to SA Live. It's National S'mores Day, and today we're putting the toast in toasted marshmallow. Look at that, it looks amazing. Oh, I know, you, <laughs> you get dizzy looking at that. <laughs> Ashley Griggs, owner and chef from Piece of Cake, is here to show us how to make s'mores stuffed French toast. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Well, you know how to win friends, don't yes. you? Okay. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> how we get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our brioche bread, mm -hmm. and we're gonna dunk it in the custard. There's some tongs right there for you, oh, so you don't have thank to use you. your hands. There you go, why brioche? Brioche is a good, thick, eggy bread, and mm -hmm. I feel like it's just the perfect match for French toast. Okay. That or some challah. We don't want to. Okay. Oh yeah, you challah. soak both sides. <laughs> and, and you don't like let it just like soak it all up like a dry sponge. You just want to, to do the outside, right? Exactly. And it cooks quick. Yes. And then what do we dip it in? And then we dip it in some crushed graham crackers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna dip both sides. 
course, yours looks better. Don't, oh. don't judge y'all. Hey, okay? that's okay. She is the pro. Well, that we're having fun okay. here. As they say, it all eats the same, so. <laughs> I love this idea, though, with the with the crushed cream crackers. Okay, I'm yes, going to give that one. Yes, that baby extra in there. Okay. okay. And then we will do one, one more, more of those. And yes. while we're doing that, you've got another uh, pretty, pretty yummy looking thing over there. <laughs> Yes, right here I have a caramel s'mores cheesecake. And what I did is I did a chocolate ganache on the inside with a homemade caramel swirl and graham crackers and marshmallows. Then I did the same to the top, but I did a hot fudge syrup on top with some homemade caramel, marshmallows, and graham crackers. Oh. Okay, my mouth is watery, and you cut a slice for us. Well, that's cooking, Should, yes. shall we? Definitely. Keep an eye on that to make sure she doesn't hog that for herself. <laughs> I mean, so, we have what, to taste. Besides, I mean, we're getting greedy here. What other goodies do you have that, that you like to bake? Um, I love making homemade cinnamon rolls. I do kolaches as well. Um, I do cookies, muffins, cupcakes, you name it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, look at how good this looks here. What's the favorite thing that people like? What was that? I'm sorry. What was the favorite, favorite thing? Sorry, we're like? over here. I know. <laughs> a favorite that yeah. people like from me is my cheesecake. Cheesecake? Yes. How many different I varieties can tell you of why. cheesecake? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't even count on my hand. Honestly, I love making custom flavors for people. That's more fun because then mm -hmm. I get to literally experiment and get to taste a new flavor that they wanted. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Oh wow! Oh my goodness! You also do catering and yes, I do. brunch catering, and it can be something small, but it can also be as big as a wedding, right? That's correct. Yes, it can. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got this out here. We put chocolate chips in here. Yes, Inside? you put okay. some chocolate chips. You put some marshmallows, and you feel like doing a little extra fun. You could put some chocolate syrup in there as well. Chocolate syrup in here as put well. More marshmallows. More marshmallows. Okay. Yeah. It's a Wednesday. Yes. Why not? There we there go. Put it in there. And then you top it with your other French toast. The other and then French you drizzle toast. it with some more oh, plate. You got of it. the okay. chocolate syrup. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yes. And, yes, and the families and can do this right here Yes, at home. this is a I mean, nice, simple recipe that could be I made at home. This. All you need is some heavy whipping cream, eggs, cinnamon, <laughs> nutmeg. Mix that together and get some good bread. Dip it in, graham crackers, marshmallows, chocolate chips. I mean, it's s'mores. Like, can't and go wrong with it. This is obviously a passion of yours. Yes, it is. With your business. How can people <laughs> place their orders while he does mm. his happy dance? <laughs> um, you can go to my website at www.pieceofcake2and0.com mm -hmm. and you can fill out a custom request form or you can purchase some of the items that are already there. And you have an event coming up that yes, people can, can partake in. Tell us about that real quick. <laughs> so on August 21st, we're going to do a karaoke brunch event. It's going to be held at Upstage Comedy Lounge. Um, it's going to be me and my business partner. We're going to have um, sweet and savory items. I'm going to do a cheesecake topped French. I'm sorry, cheesecake top waffle. Ooh. And then um, I'm also going to do some French toast just like we have here. All right. Mm -hmm. And Ashley is so kindly sharing this recipe. We have it on our website, salive.com, right now. And you can find it under the recipes tab. And don't forget, you can get a taste of piece of cake catering at the karaoke brunch at Upstage Comedy Lounge happening Sunday, the 21st, 1 to 4 p.m. More information on piece of cake, go to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Don't which I like better. I'm going to have to taste them both again. Uh, so. Yeah, I think both. <laughs> Good choice. Next on SA Live, you have a tough time getting your kids to study. Do not give up. Do not give up. Okay, I didn't say that right. <laughs> How these baking kits are are helping with study and snack time. I got to check it out with my kiddos. Stick around. Welcome back to SA Live. Boy, those are cute kids. Welcome. <laughs> Does your child have a little trouble picking up math and science? A lot of them may, and you could be helping them by putting them in the kitchen, believe it or not. I'm a chef. I'm the chef, too. Are the baking kits that blend food, the STEM subjects, and even art. Yes, and I got my hands on the Galaxy Donuts kit, as you saw there, and my kiddos helped me out. Take a look. <laughs> Combining culinary arts and STEM at home in the kitchen can be a fun time, especially when you get the kiddos involved. I have Ryan and Julia joining me today, and what are we making, guys? Galaxy Donuts. Okay, and on that card right there, Julia, it has all of our ingredients, right? And what's in here, Ryan? All the materials. 
So we got this nice package here. I'm gonna show it to the camera. And we are going to attempt to make some galaxy donuts. Now this is something we've never done, right guys? We've never made donuts before. Now are y'all ready? Yes! All right, we're gonna get started. Our first step, what does it say? Pour, pour in one cup of pancake mix into the bowl. All right, Ryan, go ahead and pour the pancake batter into this bowl. The whole bag? Yes, sir. It's pre-portioned for us. And then I'll take the trash. All right, so it says pour that in, start to mix it. Juge, I know it feels weird because we're just mixing, but we're following the instructions, right? Yes, yes we I are. bet it's, it's to make it flatter. And what is our step number two, Mr. Ryan? Add a two teaspoons of granulated? granulated sugar and mix. Well, the nice thing is they have it portioned for you in this little packet. So this is how it comes in there. Go ahead and pour it in the bowl, Ryan. The whole thing. Okay. Perfect. I'll take your trash. It looks so shiny. It does look sparkly. While Julia is mixing, Ryan's going to get ready for the next ingredient. What does number three say? Measure a one and four cup of milk and mix well. All right. It looks like we're making pancakes. Melt one tablespoon of melted butter and add it to your batter. Keep mixing, making it so to get out all of the lumps. All of the lumps, right? Okay, so it might be hot. You got it. Just pour it all in. It smells. It smells like really good. There we go. Before the butter went Now remember, we want to get all of the what out? The lumps. The yeah. lumps. Add uh, one egg and mix well. Your batter should be nice and smooth. All right, and my I think it looks pretty smooth. Okay, let's pour the egg in the bowl, sir. Kids have easily been able to follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the I'm a Chef 2 kit. Now time to pour the batter into the pre-sprayed mold. Okay, these donuts will go in the oven for about seven to eight minutes. Next, it's time to make our galactic glaze. And the kids now get to dip them in the glaze. blast making the galaxy donuts and what was your favorite part guys I really like everything and they taste amazing I like everything too they like everything too okay well as you can see there's only a few <laughs> left some of them went missing hmm I guess we'll finish these off for more information on these cool projects that come in a box go ahead Ryan go ahead Gigi grab some head over to essaylive.com click the as seen on essay live tab all right mm. Oh, that is out of this world. <laughs> wow, I did a great job reading the instructions. Yes, yeah. yeah, he was proud of that. So uh, they had a great time. I, I do recommend this, especially for those who homeschool maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a great fun project to kind of mix things up. They have other kits like erupting volcano cakes, medieval castle cookies. Ooh, that sounds fun. So they have subscriptions or a one-time purchase. So. Very neat idea. Yeah. For like more that. information, essaylive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab or scan that QR code on your screen. Next on SA Live, it's not just a bathroom, it could be your new at-home spa. What you need to know if you're looking to make over your bathroom and the big giveaway one business is doing. Stay with us. So many people are remodeling their bathrooms right now and there's a popular product that could make the bathroom upkeep a lot easier. And here to tell us more about it is Amanda McDaniel, Director of Marketing with Expo Home Improvement. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So tell us about the solid surface solution. Why are so many people moving towards that right now? Yeah, there are a lot of homeowners uh, moving towards that. So let's take a back, let's go back in time for a minute. 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, we had tile countertops in our kitchens. I don't know if anybody out there remembers that, but I remember it and cleaning them was so hard. You know why? Because tile and grout is porous. Well, we got smart, we got wise um, there in the 19, late 1990s, and we started putting solid surface solutions in our kitchens, those beautiful countertops that you can just slide right off. Well, why 
why did we not do that in our bathroom? So the bathroom is a great place for us to use a solid surface solution. So that's what we have. It's non-porous. It's not going to collect mold or mildew. It's going to maintain its beauty for years to come, and it makes a safer environment for your bathroom. So that's why here at Expo Home Improvement, we are big believers and we love a solid surface solution for your bathroom. So are there different designs available with that? Yeah, you know, most people don't think it's customizable, but that's that's not true. We actually are very customizable. So we're going to come right into your home, bring the showroom to you. And you know what? You can be like, I want the look and feel of tile, or I want that look and feel of marble, but I want it in a safer, solid surface. We can customize it exactly to how you want. We've got master plumbers. We take everything down to the studs. We rebuild it right to make sure it's exactly what you need and it's just a safe option for you. I love that, that it's customizable. Uh, so of course we know Expo Home Improvement is an expert in bathroom remodels, but what other products do you specialize in? Yeah, so yeah, you said we are the bath experts. We've been around since 2006 and we have served over 20,000 Texan homes and families. It's a lot of bath and shower renovations. Um, and so, yeah, we get, we are specialists in that bath and shower renovation. But you know what, if you're like, I don't need that right now, I need window replacement. It's hot outside. We wanna see those energy bills go down. So if you're looking for a whole home energy efficiency, we do also carry window replacement, door replacement and attic insulation to help you with those energy cost savings and if someone is ready right now to get the process started what does that look like it's an easy three-step process call the number that you're going to see on your screen or go to expohomeimprovement.com and you can talk to us there and tell us about your project step number two we're going to come to your home it's a free consultation no cost to you no obligation i'm going to bring the showroom directly to your home so you can see all the samples and we can customize something for you and then number three with integrity excellence and service it's a pledge um, here at expo home improvement to serve you well and to get that job done right the first time Thank you, Amanda, for all that information. You can enter the annual Love Your Shower Sweepstakes right now online at expohomeimprovement.com. You could win up to $10,000 towards your new bath or shower. Expo Home Improvement will choose a winner on August 15th. And to schedule an appointment with Expo Home Improvement, just give them a call 210-319-4120. Amanda, thank you so much. Tomorrow on SA Live, singer and songwriter Austin Mahone joins us to talk about his upcoming back to school drive event. Plus, it is some of the best fried chicken in the country according to Eater. Well, we're just going to have to test that and make sure it's, yeah, really the best. That and a whole lot more coming up 1 p.m. on SA Live. Earlier we asked you, what is your favorite subject when you were in school? Okay, Vicki says, when I was in junior high, home economics. Oh, they, they a lot of places don't teach that anymore. Know. Literature, oh, love to read. Romeo and Juliet, great. Oh, the classic. Yep. Lisa, art class. Art class was always fun. I do agree, Lisa. Thanks for watching. Send we more will. pictures. Yes, all month long. See you tomorrow.